Hello all, welcome back to another video on Apache Spark interview question. In this video, we are going to compare the Spark own function as well as user defined functions, which is the best. Let me discuss that with some hands on. Here you can see an example code, which is contains 5 million of data and I am creating a data frame on top of the two column ID and value. And then I am going to create a Python UDF using math library and find out the square root of the value. And then I'm going to pass action one on Python UDF and find the time durations. Again, I'm going to use a Spark UDF functions with its own SQRT functions and find the deviation differences. And we'll see that output, how much the time it will take if supposed to execute the functions. In this code, I have submitted in Spark cluster with three times and we'll see what is the output we are getting. So total number of record is 5 millions as well as we are getting the Python UDF output with 900 milliseconds. The same I'm going to try with the Spark functions which is giving only 400 milliseconds. Here is a second Spark submission output and Python UDF will take 900 milliseconds and Spark UDF will take off of them as almost 400 milliseconds. Whenever I'm going to run my data frame, I'm just going to unpersist and then only I'm just running it to clear the caches and get the proper outcome. Here is a third iteration, which is giving 900 milliseconds for Python UDF and Spark UDF was giving off of them again with 400 milliseconds. From these three Spark submissions, we can notice that Python custom UDF will take more time than Spark own functions. It's almost double. We'll see with the UA DAC visualizations how it is take it out, why it is taking this much of time. Here I just take it out lost Spark submissions output because the DAG will be the same for all other iterations. So I just take it out and see the two job IDs, one for Python custom UDF submissions actions and another one for Spark own function action. Let's see how it's look like. For action one, Python custom UDF, it is in middle, it's creating a task like batch evaluate Python between whole stage code gen one and two. It is splitting the work and serialization will be modified. Once it is executed, again, it is serialized. In this physical plan, we can verify batch evaluation Python. This task will take the inputs and arguments and it is processed on providing the final output as a Python UDF. So additionally, this task will be included if supposed to use a custom UDF functions. But for Spark own UDF if supposed to use, there is no additional task will be generated. Everything will be handled by whole stage code gen, the backend of tungsten and catalyst optimizations. Let me see this action to Spark own function physical plan. Here also the Spark function will be internally handled by whole code generation. From this example, we can compare and verify custom UDF will take additional task as well as serialization changes, but Spark own function will not do it anything that would be a better for performance optimizations. Thanks to watching our videos. Please provide your valuable feedbacks in comments.